I guess topic of conversation is that they haven't lost at home. So what is really the difference between you guys playing here at the Garden and playing there? Like what, what makes them so good there? Oh, we have we have some pretty good fans at the Garden. Obviously gives us a lot, a lot of energy. Um, I don't know. I, I think um, well, the, the two games that we played against them, game one and two, I thought we, we were right there. Um, and, you know, it's, it's obviously a really good team. Um, they won our division and they've been, they've been good at home all year. Um, and I think, you know, they, uh, I don't think it was much, much different. Maybe open up a little bit more in, in the, the two games at home. But other than that, I think it's been tight games that I feel like um, we as a group felt like we could have won at least one of them. Do you feel you guys are need to open up a little bit more in game five than you did in games one and two and just do it because you also have, you know, if, if it doesn't work for some reason, you do have Igor in net playing the way he's playing. I know you don't want to always rely on that, but it seems like your style is more suited to just, not chance for chance, but just I'll push a little bit more than you did in game one and two. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think we, um, I think we had some pretty good chances. We uh, we had some good chances when we were up one nothing as well, um, game one, and, um, and I think Ranta has been playing well as well for them. And I think it was a good goalie matchup the first two games. And um, I think it's just <clears throat> I don't know if open up is the right idea, but I think we we can, um, you know, we do a good job in these zone, get the puck out to try to. Um, you know, sustain a little bit more zone time, sustain a little bit more of that offensive plays, and um, you know, just keep going like we did th these two games. I don't know if it's you know intentionally just want to open up and try to trade chances with them, but um, I think for us we were, uh, we wanted to create some more offense uh, when we came back here for uh, game three, and I thought we uh, we did a pretty good job of that th these two two home games. Is that simply just instead of when you get it out, chip it in, or is it like maybe try to make a play in the neutral zone to get it in with possession? Yeah, I think it's we. Uh, you know, I think everyone is capable. I, I think we showed that too. When um, when there's an opportunity to make a play, we make the play. Um, we chip it in when we when we don't have anything else, and uh, you know that's it's an aggressive team that we're playing against too. So um, and they're really good in their transitions and. and by saying that, I don't think we should force anything because, you know, we, we make one mistake, they're going the other way. So um, I think it's just keep playing smart, keep playing the way we have the last two games and, and really over the series and, and uh, try to take advantage of our chances. What's, what's a more fun feeling, getting your home crowd going crazy or shutting up a, a, the away crowd? I mean, obviously, I, I would like to hear um, sold out garden and, and uh, like that game seven was unbelievable, but it's a uh, it's a pretty good feeling to to hear a quiet away building as well. And, and uh, um, you know, we uh, we just worry about this this game ahead of us, and um, you know, trying to do everything that we can to win. Because some of the guys have talked about like you know each game is different and, and not getting too high or low between games. But regular season, they they tilted the ice on you guys pretty well in a few of those games. First three games were, were even, like really tight games, and then last night you guys I thought had one of your best games of the playoffs. So, is there something to building and like add? Do you feel like you guys are more confident against them with each passing game? I, th I think it's just. I mean, again, I, I can't stress this enough. This is a good team we're playing against, but I think we, um, you know, might have shown a little bit too much respect in the regular season. I mean, it isn't. Um, Again, their forecheck is is huge for them, and uh, I feel like the same thing goes for us. Uh, and um, and they're playing fast, but I think we if we can try to do a good job again to disturb their their forecheck and, and you know not feed into their transition, I think we're uh, um, you know we give ourselves a pretty good chance. And obviously, again, we have Igor back there, so um, I think it's just you know understanding that we. Uh, uh, we're a good team. We're trusting ourselves. We're trusting the, the way we want to play, and, and um, when we do that over a longer period of time, that's uh, uh, we give ourselves the best chance to win. You have them talking a lot about their power play, trying to make changes, personnel changes. 
I don't know about style changes, but just personnel changes. What is, do you feel has been working well on a PK so far? Um, I think we're we're doing the things that we need to. I think we we um, you know obviously every I, I feel like every team is trying to pressure um, the entries and, and making it hard hard on them to set up. Um, um, and and when they are set up, just trying to be in the right spot, try to limit their chances and and, and um, not give them too much time and space. I mean they have some really good players on both of their units that can make plays and and and. Um, just, I don't know, I, I think we've been sticking to what we've done all year. Um, obviously making a few changes here and there, obviously depending on who we play against. But um, I think you know, it gives us confidence as well when you do something well and you do it over and over again. I think that's, uh, that's, that's good. But also part of that too is they're averaging just about two a game you know, on a power play in this series. So do you find, like, I mean, is that a big factor is, you know, Keeping them, obviously it's a factor in keeping a power play down. You don't give them a lot of chances, but you're not giving them any chance even to just like you guys got the first power play yesterday. You, you generate momentum off of that. Mm -hmm. You score on the second one. They're not even doing that. They're not getting a lot of chances. Do you feel like that's a, the discipline has been a huge part of this? Yeah, I mean, I don't think against any team that you want to give up that many power plays and and, uh, and whatnot. I think we're we're doing the things we uh, we want to do. I think we're. You know, we're skating and, and we're we're not reaching and we're not you know putting ourselves in a situation or a position to take a penalty. And I think that's something that we have to keep doing. Um, you know, they 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 skate really well as well. So I think we uh, um, we just got to keep going. Do, do you think last change is a factor? Yeah, I mean that's you know you got that av advantage. You, um, as a coach, I think that's a better question for him. What he? Uh, but I mean, uh, down there. You know, yeah. No, I mean, it, we uh, uh, we're pretty sure who we're gonna see tomorrow. So I, th I don't think that changes. It's been regular season and the first two games there. So uh, we're just gonna do a job. Okay. What, what's that like? Like one. knowing that you're gonna see that stall line a lot, having seen them so much in the past. You know, we, with Crosby, we talked a lot about how good he was. You know, and could push offensively. It's a different thing. Like they're putting them out there to defend you guys in a lot of those situations. So how does that factor in for you at all? It's a fun challenge. It's, yeah. I mean, it's uh, they've done a good job for them all year, and, and I think they've been pretty good uh, the last couple of years for them. And um, I think you know, just <clears throat> not worry about that too much. I think that's something you. S we said last year's as well, um, different situation, but still, I think it's just, it comes down to what you do and what you can control. You can't control how they play. I think it's just the way, the way we play and the way we have to, um, you know, play our different situations and, and, and battle and, and whatnot. I don't think it matters who, who's on the ice against you. I think that's just the mindset of taking care of business and taking care of the things that you can control and that you, you can do and, and just go from there.